Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, this is Blackfire Ray, and welcome to my SoccerCon vlog for 2022. SoccerCon takes place in Seattle, Washington, which is roughly three hours, give or take, from where we live. Just really depends on traffic. My partner and I drove up Thursday, the day before con started. And of course, as a Filipino who does not live near a Jollibee's, I had to finally introduce my partner to my favorite fast food restaurant. This was actually our first time at SakuraCon and the first time I've ever cosplayed for all three days at a convention. Starting with day one, I did a gender bend version of one of my all time favorite anime characters, Kakashi from Naruto. Day two, I did a season four version of Mikasa from Attack on Titan. And as you can see, I really wanted to wear cosplays that were easy to dance in so I could do the K-pop panels without worrying about all my costumes falling apart and make sure that they were comfortable enough to dance in. And for day three, I cosplayed as Bulma from Dragon Ball Super. On day one, we got our badges. And as you can see, the lines were a little long, but honestly, it did not take very long to go through. I know some people waited like three hours the night before, but yeah, we didn't have to wait that long, which was nice. Then we had to feel ourselves up with some breakfast and some coffee. And afterwards we headed up to the vendors hall. Um, there were tons of vendors there. And of course the best part, my boys from Twisted Wonderland. This is the best thing so far. <laughs> Next, we headed to the gaming room where I played DDR decently right before I ate it and lost. Uh, I did not show that just because I, I was on a good roll and I wanted to show the good parts. <laughs> and of course, I couldn't miss the K-pop class. We got to decide which songs we wanted to learn and we chose Thrill Ride by The Boys and Love Dive by Ibe. <laughs> After the panel was over, we checked into our hotel room that was a block away from the convention. Here's our bathroom. Cute little sink. Um, not the best to get ready in for cosplay, so I might need to find a different room, but overall, it's really cute. So fun fact, I've had this headband since I was nine years old. I got it as a gift from my parents. Um, so child me is very, very happy that I get to cosplay a character that I've loved for so many years. And um, I am now 25, so you do the math on how long I've had this headband for. <laughs> Once we unpacked, we headed back out to grab some grub after I did a photo shoot for a cosplayer in the park connected to the convention. Then headed right back to the K-pop random dance panel. You can check out more of the dances I did on my TikTok, shameless plug. And after we headed back to our hotel and had some more food, we went to the rave for a Friday night. We just got back from the rave. It's like, what time is it? 10.55. It's 10.55, it's not even that late, but I'm exhausted. I'm just gonna wind down and I'm gonna get me Casa ready. She still needs to be like cut and styled, so we'll see how that goes. No panic here. I'm not panicking. So I wasn't super in love with this wig, but it was a cheap wig from Amazon. And honestly, for doing a last minute put together costume, I really liked the way Mikasa turned out. After I got dressed, we went downstairs and we went to the convention to see the cosplay contest. Tons and tons of fun. There was so much talent. Just, just take a look at this. After 
the cosplay contest was over, we headed to another K-pop random dance panel. Again, you can check these out on my TikTok page, another shameless plug. So we ended up going to one of the best panels I've ever been to at a convention ever in my life. Uh, it is an improv group with the voice actors Max Middleman, Robbie Damon, and Ray Chase. And guys, when I say this was hilarious, it was hilarious. If you ever see them hosting this panel anywhere at a convention you're going to, you have to go. So after the best panel of my life, we went to the rave and did some dancing for an hour or two. Uh, I got really tired, so then we went out and this guy was playing saxophone. And honestly, I had more fun dancing to the saxophone than at the rave. First Sunday, I did my final photo shoot with my friend Yu Puffins. And here are some of the photos that came out. I was super, super happy. I had a ton of fun working with them. So after we wrapped up the photo shoot, we went to the vendors hall one last time and visited another panel before we headed back home. I had so much fun at this convention and um, my partner and I definitely want to come back next year and see what else we get involved in. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And my next convention will be WasabiCon PDX at the end of July. I'll have a lip sync and some dances to perform. I'm super excited. So uh, if you wanna keep seeing more content from me, then yeah, definitely subscribe and thank you so much.